stood in front of the new HLC machine. Can you talk us through it and the journey you've gone to get to this stage? Well, the new HLC 150H is our new baby with regard to our horizontal gear hobbing products. And before we have started to develop this machine, we have made an extensive analysis on all existing gear hobbing machines, horizontal style. And we have defined a couple of performance factors. We said uh, we want to build the best in class gear hobbing machine, horizontal style. So we have defined performance factors such as, for example, uh, the, the x-axis distance, uh, the shifting range, the hop head swivel angle, the drive technology performance factors and so forth. And then we have defined the new specification of the HLC150H and we have realized them. Yeah, so when you say it's a new machine, it really is, isn't it? In fact, the Y-axis, the, the stroke at the back, that's, that's, that's unique, isn't it? It is, it is exactly. This is more or less the secret of this machine. Mm -hmm. uh, usually with uh, horizontal gear hobbing machines, you have the shifting motor, a small ball screw spindle and small guideways that are integrated into the hop head, so to speak. So they sit underneath the main drive. And we have taken these out and have put the whole hop head and its plunging cylinder um, out on bigger guideways and move the whole hop head and the plunging cylinder up and down. So we have actually a virtual y-axis because the shifting movement is created by means of an interpolation of z and y. So what's the advantage? Rigidity, obviously. Uh, rigidity is one advantage, of course. Other advantages are a shifting range that is now 220 millimeters, and this is unique in this class. And moreover, we have realized a hop head swivel angle of minus 45 to plus 135 millimeters. And this allows us also to do worm milling operations. And also the tail stock, I know you've added some nice features there. Is that also unique? Uh, well, I wouldn't say it's unique, but it's for sure a very useful feature. We have an NC driven uh, tail stock. That means not only positioning is NC controlled, but also the clamping force is NC controlled. What, does, what is this useful for? Let's admit you do set up from one part to the other. So you simply call up your new NC program for the next job and the tailstock knows, knows immediately where to go and how to clamp. Yeah. And this is of course useful in order to save setup time. Yeah. And you've also got ancillary axes. I've never seen that before. So what, what, yeah. what's, what's the functionality? This is another USB of this machine. We have uh, an auxiliary tool uh, that is completely NC controlled not just in axial position but also in radial position and there is even a twin execution in order to have two separate uh, NC auxiliary tools. Um, again if you do set up from one part to the other also the deburring tool will go immediately to the right position and the control of the auxiliary tool is way easier because it's NC controlled and there is no manual setting involved at all. So what types of components are we going to uh, produce on here? What, what types of gears? Um, when we have developed the machine, we, have, we had our focus on a couple of strategic important work pieces um, that we have uh, supplied many machines for already. This is, for example, the steering pinion of this electronic power assisted steering system of cars. This is, for example, the transmission shafts of uh, gear transmissions in cars. Mm -hmm. This can be the hollow shaft of a dual clutch transmission gearbox, but this can also be a usual shaft, input output shaft. Uh, of transmission gearboxes and so forth and moreover again back to the steering system also plastic type uh, worm gears that we hop by means of the plunge hopping method also these can be full automatically loaded and machined by means of uh, the HLC. So in terms of the gantry robot it's a very fast robot but maybe the perception is you need to be making a hundred thousand components but that's not necessarily true is it? No not necessarily first of all we have two different designs of this gantry loader one is for short chip to chip times, let's say around about three seconds. This is realized by means of our rotary gripper that we see here today. Um, however, the weight of the parts is limited, so we can use this kind of loading system only for a weight of maximum 2.5 kilograms. Then we have an alternative to this for shafts, heavier shafts up to 10 kilograms, and then we use a kind of linear uh, gantry loader. And when it comes to the number of parts, uh, you can use the machine, of course, also as a manually loaded machine for small batch production, rapid prototyping applications, things like these, but also, of course, for the bigger numbers. So you can simply activate or disactivate it. So you don't have, you don't necessarily have to have hundreds of thousands of parts in order to use automation. And just to conclude, this machine is now available. It is available now. We have already the first seven orders received. Four machines supplied so far. 
And yeah, we are keen on getting further inquiries for it, of course. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Good. Yeah. Good.